Good morning, I'm meteorologist Christy Shields. We are going to be dealing with some rain today. We had some showers over the weekend, even some soggy conditions, and we'll continue to see that rain throughout the entire day today into tomorrow as well. At times, there could be some downpours, so please use caution. By noon, 76 degrees. By 5, 74. Then 10 tonight will be at 68. It'll be mostly cloudy with showers. Your news starts now. Live from Bedford County, this is WTHA News on the Road. Yes, welcome to another week of On the Road. This week we are on the road in Bedford County. Casey Kantz, Lindsay Kennett with me this morning. Lindsay, good, morning. good morning. Good morning. This is great. Another week on the road here. We're at Hebrews Coffee Company in Bedford County. Rika Patterson joining us, the owner of Hebrews. Hi, Rika. Good morning. Welcome. Or you should, you're welcoming us. Yes, good welcome. welcome to our show. <laughs> but thank you for welcoming us to your coffee shop. Anytime. And it's very homey in here. It's very yeah. nice. We've uh, got our cups of coffee this mm -hmm. morning. Uh, when did Hebrews open up? Uh, we opened in May of 2006. Okay. So a little over 12 years now. It's hard to believe. Yeah. But and you're in a nice little spot here in Bedford. You get a lot of traffic and people to come through here, I'd imagine. Absolutely. We're right here on the corner, so yeah. it's kind of like, hey, there's a coffee shop. i got to go there. Yes, exactly. <laughs> How many different blends or uh, flavors? I mean, I know you have the hot and iced and all that, but mm -hmm. in terms of some of your more popular coffee flavors, uh, how many do you have? Um, we actually have three. Sometimes we rotate that throughout the seasons, um, our third blend, but we usually have a dark, a mild, and then our flavored, especially the pumpkin and spice during the fall. Oh, yeah, months. nice. They, that's coming up real soon. Yeah, it will be oh, I know. Yeah. I can't wait for that. So what do you think makes this coffee shop unique? Oh. So many things. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, when people come in here from the city, they're like, hmm, wasn't expecting this, or, you know, it just has a city feel, and yeah. I think town as a whole is kind of... Yeah, I mean, this is like your main room here, and we'll take a look around in a little bit, but you have, you know, some couches and some chairs and stuff back there. I'd imagine people come in and, you know, want a more relaxed feel, they have that. Mm -hmm. Up here, um, you know, some nice views of, uh, of downtown a little bit. There's, there's, it offers a lot in terms of uh, ambiance, I guess, huh? I, I like yeah. the lighting and the yes, seats. Yes, that too. It looks right. very comfortable in right. here. Yes, and we have a lot of people that meet here, like that come from Pittsburgh and Harrisburg, and they just meet right here. So it's a great place to congregate, to just yeah. enjoy each other's company, and lots of business people meet here for meetings and yeah. such. So we try to offer a lot kind of meet everybody's need, even the high school kids. It's hard to believe, but they yeah. they come over after school and they're just loving it. Nice place to relax. Well, if you don't mind, Rika, we're going to hang out here for a couple hours. Absolutely. We've got a show to do. <laughs> have so. fun. This is really nice, nice and comfortable. Rika Patterson, uh, so nice to, to have us this morning. We'll talk to you in a little bit. Okay. okay. Sounds, Sounds great. Thank good. you. Yeah, thank Enjoy. you. Of course, we are on the road uh, all week in Bedford County. Uh, so many great places to check out. We can't wait uh, this entire week. Uh, if you want to check any of our stuff out, uh, don't forget to. We are centralpa.com, but like I said, we'll be on the air as well all week long here on the road in Bedford County. Christy Shields back in the studio this morning. Good morning, Christy. Hey, good morning, guys. <laughs> well, bad news for this on the road. It is going to be a very soggy week here in central Pennsylvania. We've already had rain. Now, currently, we're seeing that mostly off to our east, but as the day goes on, this rain will be turning into central Pennsylvania thanks to a southeasterly wind. And we are going to continue to have that rainfall not only today, but into tomorrow and Wednesday as well. So taking a look at Doppler currently, again, most of that rainfall is off to our east at this point. Even some thunder and lightning associated with that. We will see more rainfall as the day continues. And because of this, the National Weather Service has issued a flash flood watch for Huntingdon and also Center County. And this will be starting later today at noon and continuing until tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. So please watch for some ponding on the roadways. I'm going to time this all out for you and how much rain we can expect in the next three days coming up here, but I'm going to send it back out to Lindsay and Casey. Hey, what's going on? All right, Christy, hey there, thank Christy. you for that. Yeah, we'll see you out here tomorrow, Christy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, now there is a farm-to-table restaurant in Bedford here that's doing things their own way. Mm -hmm. Now, they use locally sourced and organically grown meat and produce, serving up some bites that you can't get anywhere else. Uh, at Horn of Plenty in Bedford, there are plenty of projects in the works. Owner Mandisa Horn is on a mission to introduce customers to locally sourced seasonal food that comes from her farm. Just three miles away, or other local farmers, they make the menu very interesting to say the least. If we get something out of the garden, we're like, okay, yes, let's put it on. We want it fresh. So that's the key. It's like fresh. So we change it all, very frequently, <laughs> um, it, you know, sometimes twice a day. 
So whether it's fermented, fresh, pickled, or cooked in the wood-fired oven, you can be sure the ingredients that are available will dictate what's on the menu at Horn of Plenty. Oh, man, Deesa does such a great job there. Food is delicious at Horn of Plenty. If you like what Horn of Plenty in Bedford has to offer, you're really going to love the farm market. Lots of good stuff. You'll find local syrup, local honey, local grains, and produce from Horn of Plenty's farm and other farms in the area. They also make their own sauces, cheeses, and canned goods, too, allowing you to bring the farm to table experience back home. Hopefully, we invoke the inspiration to go home and try something with your family or your friends or your, you know, whatever. So that way, you, you feed yourself. Like, the, one of the best things you can do for anybody is to feed them, you know, and that's kind of like um, sharing the love. Yeah, it certainly is. Mandisa does a great job at that through the farm market. They also do a CSA with meat and produce that you pick up and even frozen meals to take home. Great stuff. They offer a lot of stuff there for sure. Hey, like I said, we're on the road all week, and if you miss any of our coverage throughout the week, don't worry. We've got you covered online. We are centralpa.com. Just look for the On the Road tab. And we have some behind the scenes look and extras on our Facebook page, WTAJ TV. If you like what you see, give us a like so you can stay up to date anytime. And we are just getting started with our on the road coverage live from Bedford County this morning, still to come. We'll talk a little bit of news, the names of the mascots for the 2020 Tokyo Olympics and Paralympic Games have been unveiled. We'll tell you what they are just ahead. Plus, a basketball battle this weekend. Oh, it was a great time. The 18th annual Hoops Fest in Tyrone has brought people out from all over. We'll talk more about that coming up. Triple pane window installed, a thousand off 10 6,000 series windows installed, free patio door with purchase of 10 triple pane foam enhanced windows, or 89 per month with zero down. Call or click Window World today. Everything that goes into a Linux system is engineered for absolute comfort, like the parts that create your perfect temperature and humidity, or the parts that purify the air. Together, all these parts save you up to half off your heating and cooling bills. And there are few things more comforting than that. The future of home comfort is here now at Allied Mechanical and Electrical. Get the latest technology with Allied. Get up to $1,500 in rebates or special financing. Join us all week as WTAJ, your news leader, is on the road in Bedford County, the crossroads of central Pennsylvania, where past meets present and tradition meets innovation. Brought to you by SAC Energy and these great businesses. The 60th anniversary summer celebration continues at Johnson Motors Chevrolet. Right now, get into an economical 2018 Chevy Cruze LT for only $169 a month. Or how about a family-friendly 2018 Equinox at only $199 a month? Lease for less at Johnson Motors. Plus, stop by all month long to register to win great prizes, like a $500 gas card. Get to the 60th anniversary summer celebration, happening now at Johnson Motors Chevrolet. Route 119 south of Dubois. Online at johnsonauto.com. Alcohol-based mouthwash burns, and that could leave you with burn face. But Colgate Total Mouthwash is different. It kills 99% of germs without the burn of alcohol. Kill germs without the burn. Try Colgate Total Mouthwash today. Winter Road is more than just superior energy-saving replacement windows. Free gutters with whole house siding. Premium siding for $189 per month with zero down. Or save up to $500 on any entry door purchase. Call or click Winter World today. Now, your weather authority forecast with meteorologist Christy Shields. Good morning and happy Monday. We had a dreary weekend. We had a lot of rainfall, and unfortunately, that is going to continue as we head throughout our week. Currently, we're seeing some showers and thunderstorms off to our east. So, currently, here in central Pennsylvania, really not dealing with too much. But this rain, thanks to a southeasterly wind, going to be pushing into our region later today, bringing us those showers and thunderstorms. And we'll continue to see the rainfall not only today, but into tomorrow as well, and even into Wednesday. So, if we take a look at Doppler at this hour, 
hour. Again, most of that rainfall off to our east. Now, typically we see rain coming from the west and headed east. Well, this is actually going to be the opposite because of the winds. So we are going to see some showers and thunderstorms headed our way here later this morning. Taking a live look into Dubois, thanks to our Skynet camera there, it is clear. But again, later today, going to have issues with that rainfall, also some fog to deal with, and just dreary conditions. There's a lot of moisture in the air, and that leads to those downpours as well. So currently, winds are from the east at this point. We will see that southeasterly wind later into the afternoon between 5 to 10 miles an hour, ushering in the rain and keeping us on a soggy note to start off our week. And really, it's going to be soggy and unsettled into the rest of the week as well. So currently, 65 in Dubois, 67 in Johnstown, 71 right now. In Altoona and 69 degrees in State College. It is a mild start to the day. Those dew points well into the upper 60s to lower 70s. And remember, when we get those dew points that high, it feels very sticky and steamy outside. We are going to have a humidity problem throughout the week, which leads to that moisture in the air. So throughout the next couple days, we are going to be dealing with quite a bit of rainfall in a short amount of time, those torrential downpours. And then as we head into the weekend, we start to see drier weather, and we're also going to see those dew points starting to lower which will make it more comfortable. So for today, highs in the mid to upper 70s, which is actually below average, but again, with those dew points in the upper 60s to lower 70s, going to feel humid outside. We will have a mostly cloudy sky with scattered showers, even some rumbles of thunder. This continues tonight as lows drop into the 60s. So if we time this out with Future Track, basically we are going to be dealing with that rainfall throughout the entire day. You see those pockets of yellow and red. That means some heavier downpours. So keep up to date with that interactive radar. And we will continue to see the showers and thunderstorms even throughout the day on Tuesday into Tuesday night and Wednesday. So grab those umbrellas, grab the rain boots, and use caution as well because in the next few days we could pick up to an, an inch to two inches. We are going to see those heaviest. Rainfalls in the east, and because of this, the National Weather Service has issued a flash flood watch for Huntington and the Center County. Begins at noon today and continues until tomorrow morning at six in the morning. And again, more showers and storms tomorrow. Highs in the mid to upper 70s. That trend continues for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. A little bit drier, but we still cannot rule out that shower or thunderstorm. Looks to be dry on Saturday, and then more rain for Sunday. Now, Casey and Lindsay, we've lucked out with these on the road trips because we haven't. Had that much rainfall this week doesn't look like we're going to luck out. Uh, all right, we'll play it by ear. Christy, I, I do want to thank you because last week we had been talking about getting Hoops Fest in this past weekend. It looked a little dicey, but uh, they were able to get Hoops Fest in in Tyrone. And I'll tell you what, I was out there. It was just a phenomenal event as it is each and every year. The 18th annual Hoops Fest. It's the largest three on three tournament actually in central Pennsylvania. Uh, it was held on Saturday at the Armory in Tyrone. Lindsay, how about these numbers? So more than 200 teams, 900 players, and hundreds of volunteers all make, uh, helped make this year possible. There were anywhere from 7-year-olds to 80-year-olds playing and everything in between. And people came out from all over. It's, it's a special thing. Um, to see people come from Delaware, from New Jersey, from Maryland, from New York. One of the gentlemen, he's down in Louisiana and he came up for this. Yeah, Jim does a great job each and every year. All the money raised went to the Joshua House. That's a program that was started more than 20 years ago to help young people make a difference in society. I got to uh, MC the dunk contest on Saturday there. Oh, wow. And uh, I don't know if you saw it in the video there. I'm sure you'll see it at some point. But they actually, one of the dunks, one of the kids brought the hoop down. No. Came down. They had to bring <laughs> in another hoop from another court. Oh, my they got gosh. It, 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 was, it was something really they said that had never happened before. But, uh, yeah, it was just a great event. I, I couldn't, it was my first time being there. I couldn't believe all the people. And they, they shut down, you know, wow. a couple of the main roads there in Tyrone. It was that awesome. sounds great. Yeah, great stuff for sure. Much more WTAJ news this morning still to come as we are live at Hebrews this morning. We're in Bedford County on the road. Uh, a new type of therapy may help people suffering from major depression. We're going to take a look at HealthCast coming up. We're going to find out how it works just ahead. Stay with us. Ford is a proud sponsor of WTAJ News. Hurt in an accident? Contact us now for a free legal consultation. When you bought your home, the kitchen seemed adequate. But as your family grew, you realized that you needed a change. 
Our new kitchen is just fabulous. We have tons of storage, stylish lighting and cabinets and granite countertops. We could not be happier. This kitchen transformed our customers' life. Now there's a place for everything, including large spaces for entertaining. For more than 45 years, Sisney and O'Donnell has been remodeling homes all throughout central Pennsylvania. We will listen, create a plan that you love, and work with your budget. Are you considering a remodeling project for your home? Bring your contractor to your building center for the best selection of quality building materials. From kitchens and baths to complete additions, your local YBC has the right products and expert advice to help ensure stunning results. Visit your local YBC store today or visit us online to find out more. Consider one of these fine contractors. Pete Marina, J.F. Freemer Construction. My parents will do anything to save money. Cut coupons. Matinee movies. Hand-me-downs. They even buy generic peanut butter. Ew. They love to save money. That's why all their trucks come from the same place. Saving money is child's play at Courtesy Ford. Courtesy Ford is your F-150 headquarters with over 75 F-150 trucks in stock and price to sell. Get yours today at Courtesy Ford, Pleasant Valley Boulevard, Altoona. Don't miss the Bedford County Fair, July 22nd through July 28th. Wednesday, Somerset Trust Company brings you Bull Ride Mania. Thursday night, don't miss six-cylinder and pickup truck demo derby sponsored by Weaver Sanitation. Racing is back Friday thanks to JLG Industries and First National Bank. Saturday features four-cylinder demo derby sponsored by First Commonwealth Bank and Thomas Subaru, Thomas Chevrolet. Don't miss the Bedford County Fair, July 22nd through July 28th. Health South is a proud sponsor of WTAJ News. WTAJ News continues. Welcome back this morning. The Altoona Water Authority is issuing a boil water notice for residents in the Grazierville area. Now, starting today, officials are installing a new water valve and replacing the water main at the intersection of Gates Hill Road and Rossman Road. Customers in that area could also have their service temporarily interrupted. Now, as a caution, residents should boil their water until further notice before using it in case of contamination. And for a list of streets and specific areas that are going to be impacted, just head on over to our website, wearecentralpa.com. Well, nearly a year after a destructive train derailment, one community is getting help with cell phone coverage, an issue many officials cited in the handling of the crash. Officials say a new AT&T FirstNet tower is being built in a township that will provide a coverage to Hindman. Now, FirstNet was born in 2012 on the federal level to make things like this happen for parts of the area that are facing some financial challenges. The, the challenge for rural coverage is just really one of capital. I mean, AT&T has invested uh, uh, nearly a billion dollars the last three years in our network here in Pennsylvania. So we have made a commitment to Pennsylvania in terms of capital infrastructure, but it is expensive when it's just the pure economics of uh, not as many people in an area. The project is expected to be complete by 2019. Well, Domino's Pizza wants to open more than 2,000 new stores across the United States. The company is investing between $115 and $120 million to prepare for the expansion. The new locations could help expand Domino's takeout business. Japan has unveiled the names of its mascots for the Tokyo 2020 Olympic and Paralympic Games. A blue and white checked character, Mia Toa, combining two Japanese words of Mira meaning future and Toa meaning eternity, will appear at the Olympic Games. The Paralympics pink and white somiti is named after the cherry blossom variety. The games organizers say the name echoes somiti in English. There's a little girl traveling the country on a mission of love. Now, this right here is eight year old Rosalind. She's made it her mission to show police officers her appreciation one hug at a time. So far, she's been to 31 states. It just, it just feels great. I, I feel a bunch of love when I go to the police station. And I'm so excited when I get there. She told me that God told her that she needed to go around the nation and hug police officers that they need to feel her love. First she started off the world, we got her down to just the country. Just so sweet there and Rosalind is trying to complete her mission by the end of the year. 
Maybe your next mission will be hug a meteorologist. Uh, well, no one wants to hug me today. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> not true. <laughs> we are going to be dealing with a lot of rainfall, not only today, but into the rest of the week as well. All so right, unfortunately. I think she should probably stick to hugging police officers. They do a lot for the community, yes. which, is, which is really great. Chrissy just says it's going to rain. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that's my that's my thing today. If we take a look at that golf forecast today, Maggie, it's 70 degrees eight this morning. We'll have some showers. I mean, your best bet is to go this morning. Now, in the east, that's where we're going to see most of that rainfall. By noon, 76 could hear some rumbles of thunder, and by three, 78 with even more rain. All right, definitely not looking forward to that rain. Thanks so much, Christy. Well, the National Institutes of Health reports that about 30% of adults with major depression don't respond to treatment. Now, those people now have an alternative that doesn't involve medication and is not invasive. Our Charlotte Ames has more on the newest treatment. Carolyn Radio has been fighting treatment resistant depression since she was a teenager. She's had lots of therapy, many medications, and has been hospitalized four times without much relief. Can't focus, can't, wasn't able to work, um, didn't enjoy being around even my kids and other people. It was just really hard to cope with life. So when her doctor told her about Neurostar, she said yes. It delivers transcranial magnetic stimulation, or TMS, to a part of the brain that's underactive, causing depression. TMS now offers a, a, another option in terms of how to stimulate that activity, how to get those neurons in the brain firing uh, and releasing their neurotransmitters. Technicians have calibrated the coil that sends painless electrical pulses every few seconds for about 19 minutes. Carolyn will come in for 30 treatments over six weeks. Dr. Rashidi says half the patients report significant relief and 30% are in remission from their symptoms without drugs. It's effective. Now down the road, a person may experience another depressive episode and may need an additional treatment, but that's really no different than our existing treatments with medication and therapy. Carolyn's almost finished with her treatments. Over the past couple weeks, I think that it's gotten better to where I'm seeing more, um, more frequent Good days and less frequent bad days. With HealthCast, Charlotte Ames, WTAJ News. Now, Dr. Rashidi says side effects are minimal, including some scalp discomfort, twitching, and headache. Now, this treatment is for adults who've tried a medication that didn't work or wasn't tolerated. Most insurance companies will pay for treatments for depression. Well, federal health officials have announced that they're investigating a salmonella outbreak linked to raw turkey products. The CDC says the strain is present in many raw turkey products, suggesting it's widespread in the turkey industry. At least 90 cases have been reported in 26 states since November. Nearly half of those people were hospitalized. Now, this salmonella strain also sickens some people who fed their pets raw turkey pet food. Ready to eat turkey products such as deli meat or turkey hot dogs are not affected by this outbreak. And we'll be right back after this. James Drugstore is a proud sponsor of WTAJ News. Pennsylvania families struggle and Tom Wolf's answer, higher taxes. Scott Wagner's solution, more jobs and higher wages. A self-made businessman who started with nothing. Scott Wagner grew up on a York County farm and built a successful waste business from scratch. A man who really understands how families can struggle to make ends meet. A fighter on a mission to protect our paychecks. Scott Wagner, the straight talking, trash hauling businessman for governor. So, you guys have recently started dating? Yeah. Cool. I want to show you guys three Chevy SUVs. The first one is called the Trax. Great for when you move in together. Uh, and this is the Chevy Equinox. Perfect for when you two have your first kid. <laughs> Give me some time. Right? Okay. This is the Traverse for when you have your five kids, two dogs, and one cat. <laughs> oh. Five? Uh. Current qualified competitive lessees can get this 2018 Chevy Traverse for around $299 a month. See your Central PA Chevy dealers. Feel the compulsion. New Shine Compulsion from Maybelline, New York. Hydrating oil and lipstick. Color so saturated, shine so irresistible. Feel the compulsion. Maybelline's New Shine Compulsion. Only from Maybelline, New York. Frizzy, unruly hair. Need a hair smoother. Get Super Fruit Moroccan Argan Oil with Fruit Tea Sleek and Shine. Hair is super sleek, even in 97% humidity. No parabens. Garnier Fruit Tea Sleek and Shine. Super Fruit, Super Hair. Garnier. Our veterans are brave. 
It's not right, but some of them are still taken down by addiction caused from painkillers prescribed for injuries in the line of duty. If you know a veteran who suffers from addiction or died from opioid painkillers, call the Cochrane firm. The drug makers could be held accountable and made to pay for their damages. You can help someone you love and all our veterans by making the call. The Cochrane firm, they'll fight for you. It's the Ford Summer Sales Event, and now is the best time to buy. It's going to work. I promise babe, babe. we can figure this out. A little help? Hold on, Mom. No, Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. It's not a question. It's a thing. Make summer go right with Ford, America's best-selling brand. Now get 0% financing for 72 months plus $1,000 Ford credit bonus cash on a great selection of SUVs. During the Ford Summer Sales Event, get our best offer of the season. 0% financing for 72 months plus $1,000 Ford credit bonus cash. Join us all week as WTAJ, your news leader, is on the road in Bedford County, the crossroads of central Pennsylvania, where past meets present and tradition meets innovation. Brought to you by SAC Energy and these great businesses. WTAJ News continues. All right, so we're unfortunately not out on the road, but it's no. kind of good news for us just yes. because some rain in the forecast. Yeah, a lot of rain in the forecast, Maggie. It is not looking so great this week. If we take a look at our hometown forecast, it is in Bedford County. Our hometown is Everett today, and that's because we'll be on the road there all week. 79 degrees for the high. We're going to have some showers and thunderstorms. Eastern County, so Bedford, Huntington Center, going to have the bulk of the rain. We'll have less rain as you head further west. All right, now looking forward to that. Yeah, Thanks sure. so much, Christy. And still to come on WTAJ News this morning, we're going to send it back on the road in Bedford County, where one of the first golf courses in the United States was built. Stay with us. Renewal by Anderson is a proud sponsor of WTAJ News. Join us as we're on the road in Bedford County every day next week. And we'll be kicking off the week live at the Old Bedford Village, Monday at 4, only on Central PA Live. Oh dear, our account is overdrawn again. You know what? I think it's time. It's time for your free consultation. Call Harold Shepley & Associates. You have nothing to lose but your debt. Ready, set, let's roll. Tacomas are designed for dependable off-road performance with many models to